If you are a regular viewer of the channel, then you know that the holy grail of trading is trading a portfolio. Really, this is the best thing that you can do to your own financial future. But if there is a holy grail indicator, then definitely the crown winner is the RSI2 indicator. RSI2 indicator is so robust that the RSI2 strategy that was published by Larry Connors back in 2010 still profitable till today after 12 years of out of sample in this video we will take advantage of the robustness of rsi2 and the robustness of trading a portfolio and bringing them both together i will show you how we can build a portfolio of rsi2 indicator on the same instrument using the same amount of money to make double the returns with the same product Welcome back everyone, my name is Ali KC from Statoasis channel where we discuss finance, investing, algorithmic trading and everything else in between. RSI 2 indicator really one of those unique indicators that it doesn't matter what you do with it, it will always produce profit, especially if you marry it to a mere reversion instrument. So first of all, let me show you how does RSI work. So this is the S&P 500 ETF, the SPY. And here I plotted the RSI 2 and the RSI 10. And really what the RSI 2 is measuring, how low is the close today compared to yesterday close? So it's two bar. And so for example, you can see here when we make a lower close, the indicator goes down, a lower close, the indicator goes down again. So we will be using this indicator basically to buy pullbacks. So basically we are buying pullbacks in a major uptrend. And of course, it makes sense then to marry this indicator to a mean reverting instrument, just like the S&P 500. Now, if we extend the period, so for example, the green line is the RSI 8. That means we are measuring the close compared to eight bars ago. So for example, at this time, the close is higher than eight bars ago and starts to go down. So the indicator goes down. And for example, here, the indicator is the lowest of the previous eight bars and keeps going down. And as you can see, when we extend the look back period, we will get less signal. So while we are using here 25 and 75, if we use 25 and 75 on RSI 8, we will not get as many signals as we get on the RSI 2. But it's the same concept. We are buying pullbacks, but this time on a longer period. So now you understand how RSI works. And of course, to shorten the look back period, that means we get more signals. We are buying fast pullbacks and exiting, of course, and again, quickly because the RSI 2 will jump quickly when the bar moves in our direction. And if we extend the look back period, if we go RSI 8, that means we will wait for a deeper pullback and then we will wait longer to exit using the RSI 8 again. So first of all, let's see how the RSI 2 has performed for the past 12 years out of sample. So I'm using uh, multi charts here. This is the RSI 2 plotted at the bottom and these are the signals. So we can see, for example, here the RSI 2 dip below 25. So we buy an X bar and when it goes above 75, then we sell next bar. And this is the code of the strategy. So don't be afraid, it's, it looks complicated, but really it's extremely simple. I just put many variables in order to optimize the strategies to show you how robust is the indicator. So let's leave these aside. Let's start here. So ST filter is the strategy filter when the close above the 200 day moving average. And then the RSI entry is the RSI of the close to crosses below 25, we go long. RSI exit, which is when the RSI of the close two crosses above 75. So instead of writing this is two, now I am trading the SPY here because we have a longer look back period. So we have a lot of years, in fact, 25 years to look at. So in order to make it even, I am always buying all the shares that I can buy with the amount of money that I have. So I'm starting with $28,000 and I will uh, let you know why $28,000. So this is not an optimized number. I will just let you know in a second why we're using $28,000. So basically I'm using $28,000 to buy all the shares that I can buy up to a maximum of 5,000 shares. If ST filter, which is if the close above the 200 day moving average, 
and the RSI entry, which is the RSI 2, crosses below 25. Then we buy the shares at market next bar. If the RSI exit, which is the RSI 2, crosses above 75, then we sell next bar at market. And this is the strategy. And if we see the strategy results, so we are making $60,000 out of 28000 with a maximum drawdown of $28,000. So our return on capital is 215%. We are making 324 trades with 74 win percent and 186 average trade. And looking at periodical analysis, so this is the yearly returns. So we are roughly making one and a half trade per month. You can see we didn't trade in 2001. That's because the close was below 200 day moving average. Same story for 2008. With the drawdown, we can see that the drawdown is the highest in COVID. And this is the monthly analysis, and we can see this red line is the COVID. So there is no stop loss, no profit target, and the strategy is extremely robust. As you can see, we have 12 years out of sample doing extremely well, and it was a monster year in 2021. We are averaging six bars in a trade, so it's roughly a week. So if we optimize the strategy, remember we had these inputs for optimization, so I will optimize the entry from 5 to 75, the exit from 25 to 95 in a step of 5, and then the RSI look back from 2 to 8 in a step of 1. So this combination will yield to 1,575 variation. So let's run the optimization. So this is the output of the optimization, and we can see the best is making 168 instead of 60. But let's see where our strategy sits. And here is our strategy. Entry is less than 25. Exit is more than 75. And the RSI look back is 2. And we can see that we are sitting at 492. So we have 491 variations that is better than our strategy. So from 60,000 all the way to 168,000. So let me pick the best strategy as our best optimization. So this is strategy performance, 168, and we have 50,000 drawdown. So again, COVID is the highest drawdown in terms of dollars. So it's almost the same profile, but we're making a lot more money. And look at this. So we have 2021, 100% profitable trades. So we have seven years of 100% win rate. Of course, that is amazing. And that is basically the definition of overfit we overfit this strategy to the data we have and this is the best that we can get you don't know if this is gonna work in the future or not maybe rsi2 will be the best in the next 10 years so instead of picking the best let's pick multiple lookbacks and multiple uh, levels to enter and exit and then we have diversified our portfolio, but we will use the same amount of money. If you are new to this channel, welcome aboard. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the great content that I post on this channel. Also, it would be amazing if you can share the video with others, hit the like button, so this will signal to Google to push this video to other traders. So now I have seven strategies again. But now instead of picking the best parameters, we picked logically. So RSI 2 is fast signal. So we expect it to go lower to enter and go higher to exit. RSI 3 is 20 and 90. RSI 6, 35. And you can see that once we reach 80, then we reach 45 and 70. It's a logical level for each RSI look back. And you can see that we are increasing the entry and we are decreasing the exit when we increase the look back period, which makes total sense. So this one makes $123,000 with 41 drawdown. The curve is still the same. So it's the same profile where COVID is the lowest period. So this way I am much more confident in the future to achieve this performance because now I picked the whole spectrum from RSI 2 to RSI 8, and I picked the logical entry and exit as per the look back. But of course, the difference between RSI 2 and RSI 3 is 50%. But the difference between RSI 7 and RSI 8 is 15%. So it's not the same difference. So instead of doing RSI 2 all the way to 8, 
let's double it. So we take RSI 2, RSI 4, RSI 8. So that's three strategies only, but now we're doubling. So now we have RSI 2, 25 to 90, RSI 4, 40 to 75, and RSI 8, 45 to 70. Again, we are using $28,000. So it's the same thing this time. Each strategy get $9,350. We're using, of course, the same data and the SPY. And let's backtest this portfolio. Again, the same profile. So we get COVID is the maximum drawdown. So now we make 122,000 with 39,000 drawdown. But instead of trading a single strategy, now we're trading three strategies with double the look back period each time. And we're holding different amount of time for each strategy. And each strategy has its own capital to trade and to have a drawdown. So some of you will say now that yes, you are making more money, but now you have a bigger drawdown. So let me correct that uh, thought. So now instead of trading with $28,000, I will trade with $21,000. We will divide 21,000. That means each strategy get $7,000. And now things have changed. So now we are making $91,000 with around $28,000 drawdown, which is matching this drawdown. So this is the RSI 2, but here we are making 60. And with the three strategies portfolio, with less capital to start with, with we still have the same drawdown, but now we're making 91. So we're making 50% more profit. So just by dividing our capital on three strategies, not over optimizing at all, we just pick double the look back period. We are making 50% more money, same drawdown, and we save 25% of our capital to start with. We, st we were starting with 28,000. Now we're starting with 21,000. So that starting capital now, $7,000, can be applied to another strategy. And you can see this is the holy grail. Trading a portfolio with a robust indicator, generating more trades, generating more profits, and same drawdown and saving capital. Really, this is the best. And let me show you the periodical returns. So now we have only three losing years instead of five. So 2002, 2008, and 2015. And this year is also a losing year, but a much less drawdown. And drawdowns, again, this is the RSI 2, RSI 4, RSI 8. And you can see that the contribution of the drawdown is also the same. And this is the equity curve close to close drawdown. So remember, we had a huge drawdown here of $30,000 but that's open trade and the closing trade is only $12,000. There you go. So you have one robust strategy, RSI 2, published 2010. It's really doing well. And instead of over optimizing and picking the best, we pick three strategies with double look back period, no optimization, and we get 50% more return, same drawdown. We save 25% our starting capital. So I hope this video pushed you to think outside the box because really building a portfolio is extremely simple if you just follow simple rules on how to do it. Of course, if you wanna learn more how to build robust strategies, you are more than welcome to join the Algo Trading Masterclass, which will open really soon. So make sure to subscribe to the list to be notified when the enrollment is open. And if you have any questions or comments, please do so below the video and I'll be more than happy to answer you. And if you wanna take this further and ask deeper questions to get deeper answers, you are more than welcome to join our Discord community where I already answered more than 450 questions in video all catalog in a database so you can easily search and find the answer you are looking for as always good luck with your trading good luck with your investing stay safe and i'll see you soon